a company is replicating an application running on three Linux servers that need to boot in a specific order. During a failover, how can this be achieved? So I guess what it's referring to is the boot in a specific order. Now, we have a couple of options here. Perform a planned failover. Well, a planned failover, there's, there's no ordering of any point. You, 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 you could do multi-selects, right? But it, it, it's not going to be in a specific order in that case. You would have to select machine number one, plan failover, machine number two, plan failover, machine number three, plan failover. Um, and the other point is uh, maybe that's not really what you want to do in, in that case. Uh, automatically boot the file machines from the backup files. Well, here it's talking about a failover. So that's a replication uh, item that we're failing or not from a backup. So this is just a distractor. Create a failover plan or modify the disaster recovery template. Now that there is no such thing as a disaster recovery template. If you're using Veeam's um, disaster recovery orchestrator product, uh, you can set up certain things there, but that's not what we're testing here. We're talking about backup and replication. So the only thing we have left is this so-called failover plan. So let's go here, Veeam user guide failover plan where we would be able to add the VMs and then add a certain uh, sleep count in between. Right? So what we'll do is here, select the order. So we would simply add in the VMs and then you could see here we would say this VM, then wait X amount of seconds or zero if it should continue immediately. And then the next one, whatever amount of time we want, and then it would do the third one. And the, the delay on the last VM on the list makes no sense because it only delays whatever's next on the list. But this would be the way to go that they need to boot in a specific order.